Okay, so fixing a brake leak in this car, and I mean this will apply to some brake leaks, but I got a brake leak right under here, under the driver's door. And there's one line that comes from the front all the way to the back. And so I didn't want to special order that one line. And so I just bought this three foot piece from Auto Parts. It, it didn't have a bend in it, it was just straight when I bought it. But I'm just going to use a piece off of here in order to patch, to splice in there to fix that leak. And I bent this, I bent this so that so that it matches up with the brake line I got down in here. But you want to make sure when you put a bend in these that you don't make too sharp of a bend. That you don't make it leak or anything. Or break the line. But anyway. Right here's... The leak was right in here. And so I just cut that piece out. And I just... Took a cut off wheel and cut, made a clean cut here and a clean cut here and cleaned that rust up a little bit. And then my new line is just going to come from here back here and then the bend is going to go in here to bring it back here. So I bought two compression fittings, 3 16 compression unions in order to put, put where the splices are going to be. This one's going to go right here. And the other one's going to go over here and just splice that new piece in there. Okay, so I'm going to cut this nipple off here with this cutoff wheel. You want to make sure that you get the burrs off after you're done. <laughs> And then I'm going to measure to where I put my other cut in. Okay, so with these compression fittings, I mean, you take the nut off here, and then you got this little piece here, and you take, take actually, you put the nut on first, put the nut on like this, and then you put this little piece on. And then you take the fitting and just slide, just slide it in there all the way as far as it goes. And then you bring this up here and you just tighten it up. Which and you want to make sure that you keep keep these together because you want to make sure that the brake line is all the way into the fitting when once you make it tight. Just tighten it up. <clears throat> And then I got a 3 8 inch wrench and an 11 millimeter to tighten these up. And you want to make these tight with two wrenches, but you got to remember you got a copper fitting and a brake line, and they're not very strong, so you just want to make them pretty snug. You don't want to, don't want to make them too tight. Okay, so now I got the line all ready to put in. I mean, I'm basically just going to attach this side first and then attach this and then attach the other side here and make them both tight then I'm gonna have to break bleed my brakes after okay so I got the brake line all put in and it's coming from here I put this connector in here got that all tightened up and brought it over and connected it to here so now basically all I gotta do is bleed the brake line and I'm probably going to bleed all the other brake, all the brake lines by every wheel and by the master cylinder just to make sure there's no air in the line. And that's pretty much it. Okay, like I said, I got the brake line put in. I just wanted to make sure, let you guys know, I got the brake lines in, but your pedal is still going to be very spongy until you ble bleed that line or whichever line has air in it, which that one will have air in it because you just changed it. So you want to make sure you bleed your brakes right after and then you should have your brakes should be working perfect again. Thanks for watching. 
and comment below for any questions and like if you like this video. Hopefully it helped you. Thank you.